Welcome back True Believers and Spectacular Spidey fans to another Spider-Man PS4 related video and in today's video I am basically rounding up recent news that we have re in regards to Spider-Man PS4 that have been revealed on Insomniac Games' Twitter page and also on a PlayStation related article. And before I begin I would want to shout out Batwayne and Uni951 for sending me both these news reports and really saddening news that we have gotten recently from Insomniac Games. And before I even tell you what the sad news is, I just want to say the last video where I made the speculation of where we could see Spider-Man PS4 next was just speculation, and it definitely seemed like it would be there. And given all the facts and hints that we saw in regards to Insomniac Games showing that how it could be there, now it's not there. So I'm really not concerned, just very upset with the results. So if you remember these tweets, these were the tweets that we were discussing about um, the polishing stage and stuff like that. Like, they confirmed that they are still in full development. These are the tweets that we kind of saw in regards to that. But then, we have a continuation from that from at ps 4 hype and he asks... We keep hearing it because you won't tell any of the fans, so many people just assume, if you just give it to us straight up. Um, and then Insomniac Games replied, when we have something new to share, we will share it. We always do trust us. So again, this is what I've been discussing this entire time, and this is what they have been discussing this entire time as well. Trust Insomniac Games. Hashtag in Insomniac we trust. Same thing with hashtag in Feige we trust. Like in Kevin Feige we trust with the Marvel movies. And how all the Marvel movies are so good. If Kevin Feige is behind it. And how he is the one who basically got Spider-Man to be in the Avengers in the first place. Um, with Tom Holland and everything in the MCU. And we trust him to death with all of these beloved characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And he does such a good job with the majority of the Marvel movies. Because I know a lot of people don't really like some of the Marvel movies like Iron Man 2 or Thor The Dark World. Um, I love each and every one of the Marvel movies. You know you can call me a Marvel fanboy. But I either love them or really like them. I don't really hate any of the Marvel movies. But I digress, that's the same thing what Insomniac Games is trying to tell us right now. When they have something new, because they are working their asses off with this game, they are working overtime with this game. Again, if you watch the E3 interviews that they have been giving, or that they gave during E3 when they showed the, the 1 minute 20 second trailer, you can see just how passionate they are in regards to this character and just how much this character means to them and how they will not let us down with this game. They are going to give us one of the greatest superhero games slash Spider-Man games in existence that we have ever seen in the history of mankind. And the these tweets that they keep saying only f further that point. Think about it. If we're not seeing a lot of footage, it's not because this game is going to come out in five years, which it's not, by the way. Um, it, it's basically coming out next year. It, they're not showing a lot of information because of how hard they are working on this game. It's like if someone was asking you how finished you are with your homework. You're not going to tell them, oh, okay, I'm going to take five more minutes to do my, home, my homework and then 20 more minutes to study for a test. You would just do your homework and study for your test. That's exactly what Insomniac Games is doing. They are fully developing this game and sh seeing how much... They got done so far with just that trailer and the four, uh, 4K clip, the 30 second clip and the PS4 Pro. That game is really far along in its development. So if they're not in the quote unquote polishing stage, they are at least really far along in the development. And these tweets only further that statement. So thank you to at Spidey PS4 Hype for that tweet and then along with side of how hard they are working for this game they have this as well so gavin goulden is looking for a character artist to join our spider-man team and apply within apply to jobs.com slash insomnia games i will put a link to this in the description because if you guys are interested in trying to apply me i cannot be an artist for anything i am terrible at that um, but basically, this is what it looks like. This is the Insomniac Games page. Right there, area of interest art, job title, character artist, city, Burbank, 
California. Job description. Day one, work on a Spider-Man game. Sounds pretty amazing. Not sure we need to do much more in regards to a posting other than mention that. It could be considered a mic drop. Maybe it is, but Insomniac Games is looking for a character artist to create models, textures, and shaders for characters and other key assets for our games. Keep reading if that sounds like something you'd be interested in doing. So I will not read this part because of how if you are a character artist and you are interested in that, you can read this yourself. But basically, it sounds like the same thing that is happening on with Mike Yosh. It's not like, oh my god, they haven't even created any other single character in this game. Because they have the animation character design for the Inner Demons, for Spider-Man, for a lot of the New York City civilians, for a other couple of thugs, um, probably police officers and the cars and stuff. Everything that you see in the city is moving. Like when I say that, I mean like the flags, the American flags that are hanging off from the city buildings, the cars moving around, the steam coming out from like the grates in the, the street and the buildings and the rooftops and the shining from the sunlight onto the floor of the cement of the ground and the, even the rooftops and the side of the windows and everything. Everything looks gorgeous. So now I feel like that they are showing this to just polish up on the character designs that they already have in plan, but they just want more character artists to further that and to try and get them done quicker with more people behind it from even more talent to show just how beautiful they can make a game look in a fully next generation game for a Spider-Man game. Because again, if you've seen Ratchet and Clank PS4, you know just how diverse and really cool and intricate each and every character in that game can be. And that is for like an alien sci-fi cartoon game. If you take it in regards to Spider-Man, we're going to get tons of different villains, enemies, combat uh, moves for Spider-Man to pull off, different swing animations, characters, tons of stuff to make the city and Spider-Man feel really, really alive and vibrant. So again, it's not like they haven't done anything. They just need more talent to back up what they already have going on. At least that's how I'm taking it. I think it is like how I just described it. I don't think it's like we need to make 50 more um, people in the game. And now for the final sad news, which the, the, the things I've stated so far, thank you to Batwayne for telling me. Now I have Uni951 to thank for this. He only showed me a link to a French article. I actually found the one in English. And what I'm talking about is that it is confirmed that Spider-Man PS4 will not be at Paris Games Week. I know, please take a deep breath, remain calm, don't freak out. Me and the rest of the Spidey Squad are here for you guys. We got your back. Just stay calm, please. Sony's Paris Games Week lineup, lots of playable PS4 games, but no mention of a conference. So again, unlike E3, Paris Games Week will not feature a lot of new titles for uh, PlayStation 4 um, because they already showed a lot of their titles coming up in regards to really cool games like Detroit Become Human, Uncharted, I mean, not Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, FIFA 17, For Honor, tons of other games that are either out recently or have not come out yet that they, that they want to show. Um, and the fact that Insomniac Games has been at every Paris Games Week ever, and all those recent tweets that I described in that one video where I thought it would be there, kind of confirmed that they would be there, and now all of a sudden they're not going to be there. So basically the reason why it's not there is because these are the lists of games that will either be playable at Paris Games Week or will be shown in the theater at Paris Games Week. And as you can see, Spider-Man PS4 is not on any of these lists. We have playable games, PSVR games, and games being presented in the theater. And Spider-Man PS4 is not on this, li this list. Um, if that's the case then, if it's not going to be at Paris Games Week, and there's nothing in November going on, there's no real video game convention thing going on in November, it almost 110% has to be at PSX. I do not care what they say at this point. If they're not at Paris Games Week, it's almost basically confirmed at this point that Spider-Man PS4 will have to be at PSX. And I also believe it is mandatory for, cert for PlayStation-exclusive games to appear at the PlayStation experience. It just makes sense. So if they're not at Paris Games Week, just take that as a good sign that that only furthers the confirmation that it could be at PSX. It's not confirmed that it will be, but I'm almost 100% sure at this point that it will be. So thank you to Batwayne, 
and Uni951 for these news reports. I'm sorry, guys, that this is more bad news than good news, but just stick with it, and we will get through this. Stay spectacular, everybody. Peace out.